You're watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's retirement television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here is senior investment advisor, Eric Carney. Welcome to Retirement Talk TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Eric Carney. Eric is president and CEO of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, how are you today? I'm great, Cynthia. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. I always look forward to our time together, oh, yeah. our shows together, because you deliver such amazing information to the viewing audience. So have to ask you, how are things going, Eric, and what's life like right now? I'll tell you, life is uh, crazy at work, that's for sure. Yes. I mean, you know, again, two 2020 is rolling right into 2021 and so there's still a lot of people who were helping I mean there's a lot of people that are calling into the office and saying yeah. look Eric I need a different direction and so uh, we're doing a lot of second opinions a lot of portfolio recovery strategies and mm -hmm. people are saying like look Eric this is my last hurrah I've got to get this right yeah. and one of our taglines has always been remember you only retire once let's get it right the first time people are remembering that and they're saying you're right I have to get this right sure so again we're super busy at work very proud of my staff um, they're working relentlessly trying to put yeah. people in better positions and uh, things have been great oh I'm so glad I love to hear that Eric I have to ask you obviously the topic of today's show would be portfolio recovery strategy yeah. so let's talk about how important it is to ensure that your portfolio is current to or regular to current conditions if you will yeah I think it's really important I mean remember after after 2008, 2008 crippled a lot of people. Now all of a sudden you have the worldwide pandemic of 2020. That's well over a year behind us, mm -hmm. but yet we're still in turmoil. Right now you have market volatility, you have inflationary issues, you have interest rate changes, and you have world events that are consistently affecting your portfolio. Mm -hmm. Yet so many people's portfolios are significantly outdated. They're riddled with fees, they're in poor asset classes, they're under diversified, they're over diversified. So what people are coming in with is, Eric, please help us with our portfolio. And again, what we're performing are portfolio recovery strategies, taking a look at the portfolio. How can we actually rip that down to the studs, rebuild that portfolio so that we're pointing you in more of an optimal direction? Mm. Eric, I want to ask you as well, what about today's fixed income world? What is that exactly? Oh, man. How long do you have, Cynthia? Right? <laughs> I think we have about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay. So about five years ago, we told our clients, look, there's two trains that are coming together. It's going to be interest rates and fixed income. Boy, do we nail that on the head. Right now, when you can refinance your home at a very low interest rate, you can see where that's actually going to wreak havoc in the fixed income income world. Mm -hmm. And right now, people are trying to go into bonds because they want to get out of that market volatility. But what's happening is even short-term bonds, which are less affected by interest rates, are still have highly unattractive yields. And so those are actually a very safe way to lose money right now. The other problem is, is that they're not counteracting their bond portfolio with enough equity exposure. And so what happens is the portfolio is kind of lagging along and all of a sudden year after year they realize their portfolio really doesn't have any positive direction so again people are coming into us and we're showing them that even with treasuries even with CDs it's not a good place to be right now you truly have to find another fixed income alternative that's going to keep up with inflation and out out, outpace inflation along with taxes as well. Mm. Eric, do you often find that people come into the office and they feel that they are well diversified until you take a look at their portfolio and you can shed some light on what's really going on? Yeah, it's a little bit of tough financial love trying to tell someone that really they think that their portfolio is diversified. But truly building an asset allocation is something that is a simple thought, but yet when it's executed can be more difficult than people actually think. Mm. There's a lot of times where people are under diversified and actually over diversified and what you really want to try to do is smooth out the risk by a true asset allocation that's complementing your needs and what we're trying to do is build a portfolio that is geared around your goals your objectives and so we want to take your personal situation and try to manufacture that allocation that's right for you 
So when you're designing a retirement plan for someone, if you will, Eric, you're taking a look at someone's total picture. So they're coming in, they're sitting with you and they're saying, Eric, this is what I would like my retirement to look like. And you design a plan. How does that work exactly? Well, a lot of people come in, we ask them what their goals and objectives are. Honestly, Cynthia, it's amazing to me how many people don't understand their goals and objectives. Mm -hmm. What does your retirement look like? They don't know often. And the reason for that is, is because we're busy with our careers, we're busy raising families, sometimes we're busy taking care of parents. So what happens is our retirement goes on the back burner. We don't even have time to think about ourselves. So when people finally come into us, now what we're doing is, we're sitting down and saying, okay, enough is enough. You can't mess around with these markets anymore. You've never had a financial plan written for you. You don't know where your income's coming from. Let's buckle down. Let's get you through this. Let's build that financial plan. Mm, are people often relieved when you're able to show them exactly what their retirement could look like? I think so. And you know what's interesting is, is that Donna Crone is my certified financial planner. Donna does a fantastic mm. job. She's very detail-oriented. And what happens is we put their retirement up in a big screen mm -hmm. and people actually see their retirement come to life. And she asked them, is that exactly what you want your retirement to look like? Are we covering all the things that you want to have happen in your retirement? And they say, yes, that's exactly what I want. And what a lot of people are looking for is they just want to be free of concern. They don't want to have to worry about their retirement. They don't want to have to wake up at 2 a.m. and wonder, am I okay with health care? How am I going to take care of my grandkids? Will I have enough uh, money to last me the rest of my life? It's everything. When you wake up at 2 a.m., what's on your mind is what we want to answer in that financial plan. And we have done plenty of financial plans this year, that's for sure. Sure. How long can someone expect to spend with you on the first consultation, Eric? Well, <laughs> we try to keep that to an hour. So <laughs> okay. it's overwhelming enough. It's overwhelming enough for people to come in and get a second opinion. You know, they're, they've trusted their advice for a long time, but there's this deep down feeling that something's just not right and they want a second opinion. So for them to come in the office, a lot of times that's a little intimidating. So here's the whole thing. A lot of times it's just a conversation. We're just sitting down, answering some of your questions, taking a look at your situation and saying, look, here's what we can do a little bit better. Would you like to dive into that? And then Cynthia, what we're doing is letting them make the choice of whether they want to come back in again and go down and dig a little bit deeper into that portfolio. So mm -hmm. I think for a lot of people after that first meeting, there's almost a sense of release, sure. uh, of relief and a sense of calm. And they're like, I'm really glad that I came in now, Eric. Like, this makes me feel good. And it also makes people feel like this is where they need to be. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that have been missing in their financial life from before. And so by us asking them a lot of questions, they're finally feeling like somebody's listening to them. Yeah. And um, it really is. I mean, people come in as clients, but they end up becoming friends, and that really is the biggest thing for us. Well, and I love hearing that you've asked questions that people have never been asked before, because we hear that a lot from your clients that have called in and just have talked about their experience with you, and they always say that. Not only do you ask questions that they hadn't been asked before, but that you give them individualized time, and they don't feel rushed. Right. And that's a blessing. A lot of times, um, so Joseph Lanza has been working with with me for four years now and he just became an investment advisor and he just said to me the other day he goes you know Eric the one thing I like about you is how calm and relaxed you are in the in the conference room yeah and I don't want it to be you know intimidating for people you know again we want to talk about your finances we want to answer all your questions and sometimes people feel like I don't want to ask that question because I don't want to look dumb yeah when it comes to your finances there's no dumb question yeah. I mean this is your financial life and we have to put everything in order there there has to be a proper organized manner in which we do that. And so a lot of people have never had any kind of process with an advisor. They've bought products, they bought investments, they bought tools, but they've never been put through a process. Mm -hmm. And once you go through a robust process, you have a greater chance at financial success. Sure. And that's really what we're trying to implement for these people. We want them to have that financial confidence that they can move forward and that they're going to be okay. Absolutely. And again, be free from concern, right? I 
I love that. Well, Eric, I know we have a special offer to give to the viewers at home today, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the phone lines if that's okay. Are That'd you ready? Be great. Okay. To the viewers at home, the phone number to call is on your screen. That number is 800 779 1942. What Eric is offering you today to the first 10 callers only would be a complimentary consultation, a portfolio review. Let him take a look at what you currently have in place. Are you on the right path for retirement? If you're not, wouldn't you want to know today? All you have to do is pick up the phone and take advantage of this opportunity. The number is 800-779-1942. We have to take a very short commercial break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to have so much more with Eric about how to plan your perfect retirement. Please stay tuned. What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Questions about your retirement are normal. So come into our office, sit down with us, and let us help you find those answers. Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. We specialize in helping people just like you prepare for the retirement that they've always dreamed of. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. What I enjoy most about retirement planning is sitting down with you and having real conversations about your retirement dreams and goals. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Retirement doesn't have to be scary. Let us help you retire confidently. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. And welcome back to Retirement Talk TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm jo joined today by Eric Carney. He's president and CEO of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Wonderful show that we're having today, Eric, and obviously talking about the importance of portfolio recovery strategies. Right. So on that same vein, let's talk about the importance of a long-term written financial plan. Yeah, this is a big one, Cynthia. It's amazing to me how many people do not have a long-term written financial plan. Mm. When there's difficult times in the market, when these markets get deep and dark and people get worried, what we're seeing is people that have a long-term written financial plan are actually reverting back to their financial plan, not necessarily taking a look at their investments. I'm going to tell you right now, your investments over time are going to go up and down. But as long as we're maintaining that financial plan, we we understand what rate of return you need. We understand the, the duty to reduce your market risk over time. We're looking at tax impl impl implementation strategies. Mm -hmm. Easy for me to say. But <laughs> what we're doing is we're looking for longevity. We're looking for sustainability. The markets are going to do what they're going to do. You've got three guarantees in the market. You're guaranteed the market will go up. You're guaranteed that the market will go sideways. You're guaranteed that the market will go down. So we have to build a sustainable financial plan and an income plan based on all of the unknowns. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult to predict the future. So instead, let's take what we can control, what we can't control, put it in the financial plan that's built exactly for you and be able to get over those financial hurdles. But the one thing that's interesting, Cynthia, is that mm -hmm. when we ask people to come in, they say, Eric, what should I bring in for my first yeah. meeting? Yeah. We want the income plan that's been designed for them. We want the financial plan that's been des designed for them and all of their statements. The interesting thing is they're not coming in with a financial plan mm -hmm. or an income plan. I was going to say. So how do you know that those investments are appropriate for you? Yeah. Because first we're building that financial plan, building the income plan, and then determining what investments are proper for you. Mm. More than ever, we have seen people that are buying products tools and investments that are not run in a financial plan. They're not run in an income plan, and we have no idea if they're good for us or not. 
So now what we have to do is, now we're going the opposite way. And people are like, Eric, this makes sense. You want to take a look at my goals and objectives. You want to look at my lifestyle. You want to know how much I'm spending. Now I have to outpace inflation. I have to pay taxes. What investments are now appropriate for me? Hmm. So we're actually now taking all this process and putting it in order. And now people are realizing, okay, I was sold a product, not provided with a solution. Mm. We're here to provide a solution. And that's why when we have to perform a portfolio recovery strategy, we realize that that client may not be in the best financial position. So we really have to change things around quickly. And that's why this was created. Let's talk a little bit about that because you just said sold a product. So let's say someone's been working with someone for a while. How does someone know that they are working with someone that has their best interests in mind? Isn't it very important to have a fiduciary? Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people don't understand the difference. Yeah. So with a fiduciary, by license and law, you have to put the client's best interests first. You have a duty of care. You have a duty of loyalty. And so by putting the client's best interests first, you're now taking taking a look at their situation and saying, okay, what is in your best interest mm -hmm. long-term? What is in best interest for your family? What about a transfer of generational wealth? All of these things have to go into play. But again, people are being sold products without a financial plan. There's really no rhyme or reason why they're buying them, and that's why they're coming in to see us. Mm -hmm. Eric, I bought these two years ago. They're not working. This is not what I was told please fix this. And so right now, our fiduciary responsibility, we take incredibly seriously. And now again, we're reverting back to that financial plan. Again, we're taking that whole financial planning department mm -hmm. and throwing everything we have at that client. Now, all of a sudden, we're surrounding that client with the things that they need or the things that have been missing in the past. And this is what people are craving, Cynthia. They're craving service. Sure. You know, they're craving Absolutely. proactive service, somebody to call them. And so, again, my team has just done a fantastic job this year. I'm very grateful for them. Yeah. And as we grow, they just continue to do a great job. So I'm very blessed to have them available. And I know that people love having you so hands-on as well as your entire your team, so that's such a blessing as well. I want to talk to you quickly about reducing market exposure, especially as you're getting up in years and you're close to retirement. Do you recommend that people are a little bit more conservative with their choices? Yeah, I think so. And again, with a fixed income world right now, it's very difficult to become very conservative because, again, it's not like the 80s or the 90s where you could go into a bond fund and get a decent yield. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, these yields are so unattractive, it's not a good place to go. So again, you have to find a very strong alternative to go into something safer. The other thing that clients want to do is they do get sick and tired of the stock market. They don't like that volatility. And so what we have to do is safely create an exit strategy. And this is something where a lot of salespeople are just putting huge chunks of money into other products that are completely inappropriate for that client. They're literally cutting off the ability to still grow that portfolio. Mm -hmm. What you really have to do is be systematic. You have to be very deliberate. And you actually have to have a plan in place. How do we slowly create an exit strategy? This is the one thing where a lot of people have never heard of. They're like, Eric, that's almost unorganized. Orthodox. Why? Because we're being told just move hundreds of thousands of dollars out of the market every single year. That's not a strategy. I want to know where you're going to be in another year. I want to know where you're going to be in three years, five years, 10 years. And don't you want to know that as well? That's where the income plan comes in. Once we do the income plan, Cynthia, the crazy thing is everyone at the conference table is all on the same page right? Yeah. There's accountability. I'm showing you what we have to do in order for you to be successful. People like that. Yeah. They want to know on one piece of paper that they're going to be okay. Sure. And it's amazing how many people don't have this. We're going to go into retirement and we now have to create a paycheck for ourselves. Absolutely. Right? We've got market volatility, yeah. all this stuff that's going on. Where's that paycheck going to come from? Absolutely. So I want to know when I shut my lights off in my office every night, I can go home knowing that I'm trying to put my clients in the very best position. I don't have to worry about their income because we all understand where they are. Mm, absolutely.
absolutely. Well, Eric, this is the perfect time for us to go ahead and reopen up the phone lines. Would you agree? I agree. Let's do it. To the viewers at home, the phone number to call is on your screen. That number is 800-779-1942. If you need to have a plan designed for your retirement, Eric is offering you the opportunity to call in today. That number is 800-779-1942. This offer is available to the first 10 callers only. If you're on the right path for retirement, great. But if you're not, wouldn't you want to know today? Please take advantage of the opportunity. 800-779-1942. We'll be right back after this very short commercial break. Retirement can typically go one of two ways. It can be daunting and overwhelming, or it can be exciting and give you a newfound sense of adventure. Hi, my name's Eric Carney, president of Retirement Wealth Advisors. With today's market volatility, interest rate changes, inflationary issues, and world events, now more than ever, you want to find an advisor that you can trust who's an independent fiduciary, always looking out for your best interests. So whether you're looking for a second opinion, a full-blown financial plan, or a portfolio recovery strategy, give us a call today. Remember, you only retire once. Let's get it right the first time. With current market volatility, interest rates, and inflation concerns, a retirement plan is a must-have. Planning for retirement requires a strategic financial plan that includes sophisticated tax strategies, tactical portfolio management, and possible transfers of generational wealth. Let Eric Carney and his team of professionals at Retirement Wealth Advisors map out your retirement to maximize your tax efficiency and implement custom portfolio strategies. Call Retirement Wealth today for a complimentary personal financial blueprint where you'll more than likely learn more about your portfolio than ever before. You only retire once. Let's get it right the first time. Welcome back to Retirement Talk TV. My name is Cynthia DeFazio. I'm joined today by Eric Carney, and Eric is the president and CEO of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric, a great show that we're having today, talking about the importance, of course, of portfolio recovery strategies. Right. So on that same vein, let's talk about the importance of reducing your fees. That's a big one that we should tackle. This is unbelievable. We're still going into 2021, and we've seen some incredibly outdated portfolios, but more importantly, portfolios that are riddled with fees. Mm. So what we're doing is when the new client comes in, they show me their portfolio, right away we're gonna show them how much they're paying in fees. You'd be surprised at how many people say, Eric, my advisor doesn't charge me a fee. That can't be any further from the truth. So everything has fees in it. What you wanna know is how much I paying, but more importantly, what value am I getting out of this? And so a lot of times when you have retail mutual funds, not only is the portfolio outdated, but it can hardly be managed. Don't expect it to be rebalanced. Don't expect there to be tactical money management. It's just going to be a passive portfolio that's probably not set up for your actual needs. So mm -hmm. again, we're seeing portfolios that are 20 and 25 years that are outdated. Remember that there's, that there's about $28 trillion in 401k and IRA money out there. The majority of that is all getting charged a fee. Some low fees, some very high fees. Where are you? That's what we want to know. Anytime that you can reduce your fees, you're actually automatically giving yourself a raise of, of a rate of return. Mm. So that's what we're trying to do is as the markets get more volatile, a lot of these products become more sophisticated and they're keeping up with that. If you take a look at exchange traded funds, they're very low fees, but they can be managed, they can be traded, they can be tactically managed. That's what you wanna morph into. So again, if, you're, if your advisor right now is not evolving your portfolio, you could be very le left very behind, like 15 to 20 years, and that's substantial, Cynthia. Sure. So that's the one thing that we're looking at right now and trying to fix that. Okay, thank you, Eric. What about lower your standard deviation and your beta? Can we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, sure, so <laughs> this is pretty technical, but this is the difference between a money manager and just a salesperson. Mm. We're actually getting into the nitty gritty of the portfolio. We wanna break down the portfolio. We wanna educate the client. We want them to understand the ingredients that go into a portfolio. The majority of the time, the client is worried about one thing and one thing only. What is my rate of return? Mm. But let me tell you something. If you're not taking a look at some of the ingredients of that portfolio and trying to improve on those, then more than likely your rate of return is going to suffer. Mm. 
However, if on another point, you actually take care and manage your risk and you manage your volatility, now all of a sudden your rate of return, which is a byproduct of those, is significantly better over time. So standard deviation, just a big word for volatility. It's basically measuring your volatility index compared to another index, how volatile is your portfolio. And what people have seen over the past year is how volatile their portfolio is. The other thing that we take a look at is beta. It's just a big, big word or another word for systematic risk. How much risk is in your portfolio? Any time that you can lower your standard deviation or your volatility or lower your beta or your risk, your portfolio will actually more than likely perform a little bit better over time. Mm -hmm. This is the difference, again, between a true money manager and just a financial salesperson. Huge difference. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Eric, I want to ask you, what about increasing your sharp ratio? What is that? Right. So William Sharp, if you notice on the end of Sharp in Sharp Ratio, there's actually an E. He was a world-renowned um, uh, award-winning economist mm. who built the Sharp Ratio. And what we're taking a look at is your rate of return adjusted with risk involved. People want to know, how am I doing compared to the indexes? When we actually go through the portfolio, you may not get it the first time, but you're going to pick it up the second or the third time. I'm not giving up on you. Mm. We're going to educate you. We want to make you understand your portfolio more than ever before. When we start to educate our clients, once they know more about their portfolio, they seem to be in much better shape. Mm. How many times do you have people come in that you're able to just explain something so clearly and concisely that the light bulb goes off on their head? That maybe you mentioned something, but I'm not going to give up on you because so often I think people are intimidated by financial yeah. lingo, if you will. Yeah. And what I've heard is that you are explaining things where they're easy to understand. So talk about someone that came into the office recently that was just like, oh, Eric, I get it. Yeah, it's actually exciting. That's when I know that I'm doing my job. We've been doing this now for over 20 years. When I sit down with a client and that light bulb does come off, I know that I got through to them. Yeah. I know that I'm making a difference in their financial life. There's so many people out there who are in a financial no man's land. That's what we're trying to fix. So when all of a sudden we're explaining things and educating to them, they enjoy it. This is their money. This is their financial life. And so, again, it's very rewarding, Cynthia. And again, after all this time that we've been doing this, it's still exciting to sit down with people. Absolutely. So married couples, is it important that they come in together, Eric? Absolutely. It's kind of one of our requirements, actually, Cynthia. Yeah. Okay. Because a lot of times it seems like one person might be in charge of the finances, if you will. Yeah. And it's so it's, it has to be on the same page where you're actually making sure that their plan is the proper plan in place. You know, the interesting thing about a married couple is we always have to plan. You know, everyone assumes that the woman's going to take care of the husband. He's going to pass away. Then she'll live another five years. But that's not always the case. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of times with second and third marriages, there's age differences. And we really have to be prepared for those as well. So sure. the financial plan is fluid. As anyone's financial plan or situation is going to change, that plan has to change with you. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so critical to get that built. Is it ever too late to start a plan, Eric? Uh, the sooner the better, that's for okay. sure. <laughs> I'll put it that way. <laughs> All right. So no matter where you are on your road to retirement, you should actually just get started today. Don't put it off. Absolutely. sooner the better. Absolutely. Right. 100%. Well, we have less than a minute left of the show again this week, and I can't believe how fast our time goes by, Eric, because I know that the phones have been ringing off the hook. People yeah. are calling in. They want to take advantage of that complimentary consultation. So any parting words that you want to say before we open up the phone lines one final time? Just remember, you only retire once. Let's get it right the first time. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, Southwest Florida. Thank you so much for watching. If you're in need of a second opinion or a full-blown comprehensive financial plan, give us a call today. Remember, you only retire once. Let's get it right the first time. Have a great week and an even better retirement.